We did a report today. Uh, the 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 cam the the the, the journalist uh, who just landed in Nebraska uh, contracted Ebola, and in our report we stated that there was apparently no recollection of any contact with bodily fluids. Now, of course, no. The CDC is reporting that. Contact with bodily fluids of an infected Ebola patient is the only way that you can tr you can contract Ebola. Uh, but with that revelation, and now the concerns that are being raised out of West African nations, out of those doctors, I've received reports unconfirmed that Ebola is in fact airborne. Uh, I know this is a very terrifying consideration, but being a doctor, what have you heard with that regard? I have confirmed information from the United States Army Institute, Research Institute for Infectious Diseases. Uh, those are the same people who helped develop eight separate patents that the United States government holds on Ebola and its genetic sequence. And Gary, make no mistake, this is a weaponized virus. Uh, that same institute published a special report, which I have analyzed and published on my website. The airborne transmission of Ebola is real. It is airborne by droplet transmission in the same way that influenza is transmitted. That it is more likely, not less likely, to be airborne transmitted in colder climates. Why? Because the sunlight and the humidity is bad for the stability and the longevity of the Ebola virus. But in colder climates, this very, very, very um, durable virus remains infective on surfaces. It remains infective even after it's freeze-dried. This is a very hardy virus and it loves cold weather. So in the season that the northern hemisphere is moving into winter where there will be more cold weather and where droplets and sneezing and talking and coughing will spread the Ebola virus we're going to have a very 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 bad situation but it's worse than that you see with influenza the only way you can be infected is through your respiratory tract if an influenza droplet lands on your hand it has no impact on your body unless you lick it or somehow get it into your respiratory tract. That is not true with Ebola. Ebola, a weaponized organism, can penetrate any cell in your body. So if a, an airborne droplet landed on your hand, it could penetrate the skin and get into the cells and the bloodstream that way. If it landed on your eye or your cheek or whatever. Now there's another piece of that and that the research done by the US Army Research Institute on infectious diseases shows clearly that when it is aerosolized and the United States government spent several million dollars on a laboratory device to aerosolize it to study this um, when it is aerosolized and you take it into your respiratory tract, it is far more deadly than if you get it through your skin or your eyes or some other uh, surface contact method of transmission. That's when the death toll reaches and exceeds 90%.